Wizard World 1 has over 800 badges to collect. In this series, I'm gonna try to collect them all. We are now on to Marleybone. Currently, I have 9 out of the 16 quests remaining of Marleybone. We are currently missing Honorary Detective, Aeronaut, Member of the Watch, Good Wizard, Hero of Marleybone, Pied Piper, and Machine Master. The first quest I'm going to be going for is Honorary Detective, which I have to complete all of Officer McRuff's quest in Marleybone. So firstly, we have to talk to Marcel Mioi, Miao, I don't know how to say that, but yeah, the, whatever this mime thing is, it's really weird though. So I first talked to Officer McRuff, which he told me to go talk to William Pugsby. I then decided I want to be a cat thug, so I did. But William Pugsby, he wanted me to defeat some hooligans to retrieve an amulet, after which he dropped the charges and I had to go back to Officer McRuff. Unfortunately, I had to talk to the cat again and he had a second crime on him and then officer McRuff told me to go talk to someone named Mr. Rowley and I swear I haven't heard anyone named Rowley except for that one kid in Die of the Wimpy Kid but other than that never but I did collect two quests because they were literally at the same area and look how perfectly it lined up and so that mime is free. Actually, no, they forgot the key and I doubt he's ever getting free. Someone should go check up with the mime, dude. He's been in there for way too long. So Officer McRuff, he wanted me to go talk to someone named Lady Usain and she wanted me to defeat three large spiders. I also got another quest from her, which collect four potted plants. So I got the potted plants while I was returning back to her and turned in both of them. So then Officer McRuff, he told me to go talk to Miss Marfley and she wanted me to go defeat some deer heads. So after which I defeated them and returned back to her, which Officer McRuff wanted me to do another quest, talk to Abigail Doolittle. So I talked to her and she wanted me to defeat some street sweepers in the ironwork. Which by the way I hated doing because I had to return back here in this specific spot in the ironwork so many times. This better be the last one please. Is it? Yeah it is. Let's go. So we got honorary detective. Let's check. Uh, Okay there we go. So there it is. Our first badge. One out of seven honorary detective. The next badge I was going for was aeronaut which I had to complete all the quests in Digmore Station. Now there was a big problem with this, and you'll see why. All right, let's just get some some of the ones in the main area in Digmore Station. So yes, you and you. All right, I guess first let's just do this. Um, this is Kensington Park. Okay, but I do remember doing this on my death. Like I do have the Aeronaut badge on my death. But I don't remember fully doing all of Digmore Station. I guess I just did, though. And here we are. We're in Kensington Park. Scritch, Clonky, and Scratch. Interesting. Rest in peace, Scritch. Rest in peace, Clonky. And screw you, Scratch. And then I have to go talk to someone named Officer Terry Mid-Dungeon. Defeat Ratchet. Wow. I mean, have you guys ever done Kensington Park before? Like, I've, I, I realize now how many interesting names they put for all these uh, clockworks. Like Minuteman. Hey man, Minuteman. So I stumbled upon Ratchet and, you know, did what I had to. And then for some reason I had to go install some parts in a gyro. Sweet, so I made myself a clockwork. Very cool. And then defeat Stoker in Kensington Park. By the way, if you guys haven't already like realized I have some trouble reading and I thought that said Stroker and I was about to lose my mind. He is up here, right? I mean, it makes sense because where else would he be? Yeah, he's right here, let's go. So then I smoked the Stoker and uh, forgot about this. And, oh, look at that. We got, what did we get? Machine Master. Here we go. Defeat Stoker in Kensington Park Marleybone. So we got another one. So yeah, instead of getting Aeronaut first, I got Machine Master, which is pretty cool. I don't know how I forgot that there was a badge for Kensington Park, but I did. So for some reason, I had to defeat Stoker again, and that was the end of Kensington Park. You know what is funny, though? I wasn't even trying to go for Machine Master. I completely forgot about it so i'm pretty happy that we got we kind of have it let's go i first had to talk to hugh warner which he wanted me to go collect some goji berries from unicorn way i then went to floyd kincaid which wanted me to give supplies to the people in the palace of fire i first delivered supplies to the palace of fire then went to unicorn way to collect some goji berries i had returned to each vendor which both gave me two more quests in croctopia i had to get water from a well which i had to give to kelvin for some reason then give more supplies to the palace of fire people i returned to both which completed both the mayor pimsbury's quests but right here i was a little confused why i didn't get the aeronaut badge because i completed every single quest 
in Digmore Station. I decided to go for a different badge in the meantime because most likely it was going to give me it later into the storyline. I wanted to complete the side quest in Hyde Park in Chelsea Court, but I first collected every quest in Regent Square. After collecting them all, he wanted me to talk to each postman in Marleybone. I did, took me multiple minutes, I came back to him, and then he wanted me to deliver five pieces of mail. So I had done so, returned back to him, and that was it. I started to do Hyde Park. First person I talked to was Lady Desane, who wanted me to pick up a mythical flower, and I returned it back to her, and she was done for now. I then talked to Officer Darby, who had two side quests. I had to defeat three O'Leary hooligans, then talked to Emily Chesterfield, which was one of my other quests. Got me some ice cream. I really like ice cream. So yeah, for some reason I got ice cream, which I didn't even finish. I'm pretty sure I let it melt on accident because I kind of forgot about it, but I had to defeat two O'Leary scurriers. Emily Chesterfield asked me to collect an umbrella from a burglar and also talk to Reed Trever. I got an umbrella from the burglar, then went back to Emily Chesterfield. 13 minutes left on our... The cat dog transformation? Wow, okay, that's um, that's interesting because it kind of puts into perspective how much I'm gonna have to be here, wow. I really do like this world, so I don't mind, but like, insane. So yeah, the timer for my transformation is actually way better than I thought. It kind of shows you guys how long it takes me to collect these badges. But anyways, I had to defeat three O'Leary burglars, then Sammy O'Leary. Then go to a warehouse, which made me defeat Patches O'Leary inside. After that, I finished both of Officer Darby's quests. I then was on the final side quest in Hyde Park, so I talked to Retriever, then Edwin Ventry. I then returned to Emily Chesterfield, who wanted me to talk to Tracy Castleton in Digmore Station. I'm assuming I am done with Hyde Park, apart from the, uh, apart from the book. And the books, I'm gonna do them last, unless I see them, because I actually don't know where the books are. I could memorize it, but I feel like I'm not going to memorize it. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I never know. Never doubt your own capabilities. I had to talk to Tracy Castleton, who wanted me to go to a robe vendor to stitch up her scarf. I got her scarf stitched, and she wanted me to return a necklace because she didn't like it. And honestly, I'm realizing this now, but imagine you give someone a gift, and they just give it back to you. Like, they just said, oh, I don't like it. Like, what's her problem? Who rejects a gift? And then Emily is also another problem. She said she didn't like it. Oh, she can be hard to please. Like, stand up for yourself. Fight her. Punch her a few times. Probably shouldn't say that. But you understand what I'm trying to say. But anyways, I had to talk to Miss Marfley because she likes things that her brother said. Wait a minute. Miss Marfley wanted me to go to the jeweler to fix her class. Why is everything that her brother sent her broken? The jeweler fixed the necklace and even called her beautiful. Gonna tell her that. I returned back to her and I was done. Okay, so... We finished Hyde Park, basically. Now... We're already in Chelsea court, so let's just get this. This Lord Barker guy asked me to defeat three ruffians, and Ernest Haldings wanted me to defeat a gearhead and collect his internal gear, which were the last two quests in Chelsea court. My transformation also wore out, so I had to get another. Alright, what transformation should I be? Rat Thief makes sense. Clockwork is pretty interesting. Yeah, I think I'm choosing the Rat Thief, just because it's Marleybone. I mean, the gearheads are also kind of Marleybone, but... You know, I'll probably choose that after. Yeah, I decided I didn't like the um, the rat, so I want to be the gearhead. Anyways, I got a clockwork key from those gearheads and went back to Ernest Haldings. Then I was going to do Lord Barker's quest, but something I forgot about showed up. Wait, um, I was just eating ice cream, Pied Piper? What did I just get? Defeat 200 rats? Oh, I completely forgot about this. So yeah, I was just smacking on ice cream. By the way, I had no dinner in my house, so I'd eat ice cream for dinner. This house is a prison. But I got Pied Piper, so now I have three out of the seven badges remaining. I beat the last ruffian, went back to Lord Barker, which was the end of Chelsea Court. So yeah, I was checking if I had gotten the Aeronaut badge, which I still haven't gotten. Earlier, I had picked up Henry Wellington's quest, and I was progressing through one of them. He wanted me to go back to Chelsea Court and deliver a letter to Miss Marfley, which apparently got her so mad she threatened him. Hey man, maybe third time's a charm. Tragic man, it's over for you. Also, one of the other quests I had collected in Reagent Square asked me to gather five crates in the ironworks. I returned back to the quest giver and she wanted me to talk to a bunch of different NPCs. I talked to them and she wanted me to go fight more street sweepers in the ironworks, so I had to go all the way back and go all the way to those street sweepers. And then after, she wanted me to talk to even more NPCs. But on the way, I got distracted by a caged street sweeper. So to free him, I had to talk to Watson, who thought it was a pretty open and shut case, but I believe him. 
Anyways, before I do that, I went to Newgate Prison, I talked to Officer Anderson, who wanted me to beat three O'Leary brutes. After I defeated enough, I went back to Officer Anderson, and he wanted me to take down Lockpick O'Leary. After I did, I apparently saved Constable O'Gillivy, then returned to Officer Anderson. I'd cleared Newgate Prison, so I went back to Regent Square to finish Abigail Doodle's quest. Then she wanted me to talk to more NPCs. Before I did that, I went to the wand vendor, because he had a quest for me. He wanted me to defeat two rotten vaughters, after which he wanted me to get sand from the the map room in Croctopia, which I had to make into glass. After which he wanted me to get some sand from the Croc dig site, and then I completed his hourglass, which I delivered to Reed Trever. Ooh, 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 look at that, we did one of them. That was very, very, very like excruciating. You made me go to Croctopia so many times. I, I am not gonna lie though, like, I really do like Marleybone a lot. Like, the entire sort of look of Marleybone. It was it was generally one of my favorite worlds and also it was very short. I'm pretty sure it's like shorter than Croctopia, isn't it? Uh, I really don't remember, but I just remember it was very short. I talked to Miss Marfley to provide information about the stolen shoes and she saw the stolen pair with an O'Leary boy, which Watson didn't follow up with her about. After that, I got to free the street sweeper. Oh, he finally dropped the news that he was charged with two crimes. I had to talk to Abigail Doolittle about some sort of golden ruby. The thing is, I hate this lady so much already because how much she's making me walk for her quest. And she had is a fake ruby stolen from her and doesn't even know if it was fully weighed. And you'll never believe this. I have to go back to the ironworks and defeat more street sweepers. I got her ruby, returned it back to her, and was able to free the street sweeper. And not only that. Gram- Wait! What did I just get? I got Aeronaut. Okay, so that was the last one was was that? Okay, so that's amazing. And there it is, Aeronaut. Four out of seven. Alright, okay, so that's that's actually really good by the way. Now we are on Knight's Court. You know, I don't know why, and I feel like I'm gonna regret saying this, but I feel like we're almost done. And like I don't really see anywhere else to go because the Marleybone's very short, by the way. And there's like very little NPCs, so I'm pretty sure we're like really close to just being done. So this part was so bland, all we did was talk about a purse or something. I really don't remember 100%, but I'm like trying to go as fast as possible through this area. So basically we ran around and asked some people some sort of placement ball. And then a purse was stolen and when we got the purse back, it was damaged. So we had to find a replacement, but all the replacements were sold out. There was only one person left with a replacement that was recently sold and it was Emily and it was stolen from her. I got it back and I gave it to Catherine as her own, but she found Emily's coin purse inside and thanked me for my trouble. I talked to Linda Milton who wanted me to impress David Beeman. He wanted me to get a fiddle from a street sweeper and two clubs from Burly Trolls. I brought both back to him and returned to Linda Milltop. She wanted to impress Bill Tanner, so I headed over to him. Before that, I turned in Abigail Doodle's final quest. Bill Tanner wanted me to collect three stink bombs from street sweepers and a ransom note from O'Leary Prowlers. I turned in both to him and I had to rescue Sarah Tanner. I talked to Linda for the last time, then went back to Bill Tanner and turned in the final quest. Oh! Member of the Watch. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. So we just got... Wait. Let's go. Complete all the Scotland Yard quests. So there we go. We got Member of the Watch. Now we have five out of the seven badges we need to complete Marleybone. So, okay, hold up. There's no available quest in this world, so every other quest is in my bag, and it's just two. So I quickly did the Wizard City quest, as I had to retrieve a book Regina lost to a fire elf, and then I had to bring it back to Harold, which he let me take it back to Henry Wellingbrook. And our final quest is the history books, and I'm just going to be doing them very fast. Alright. Did we do it? We did it. So, good wizard. And we're missing one more. Here are Marleybone. There we go. So, we are done with Marleybone. We have now finished Marleybone. On to Mushu.